All right, good morning everybody. Welcome to another Hair of the Dog video tutorial. Today we're going to do a little leash removal, which is a pretty common thing that pet photographers run into. Now there's a couple different ways you can do leash removal. You can use the clone stamp, you can use the patch tool, you can use the um, spot healing brush. Sometimes I end up using a little combination of all three. Today I think I'm going to start off with the patch tool, which is down here on your toolbar. It's one, two, three, four, five. I can't count today. Seven. Seven down is the patch tool. It's also underneath the spot healing brush. So you might need to um, go into your menu and move it down to the patch tool. So I have um, CS6 right now. And this works really well in CS5 and CS6 because the patch tool has a content aware fill um, section to it. Which content aware fill is kind of like magic. Half the time. Sometimes it doesn't work so well. But when it does, it's pretty great. Um, so to make sure you're on content aware fill, go up here to this top corner on your toolbar, the upper um, top toolbar, and after patch, just make sure it says content aware fill, or content aware instead of normal. So that way it pulls the pixels from around it and kind of does the math to figure out what it should look like. Um, so it's pretty great. So we are going to try this very simple patch tool to see how this does. We're just going to circle. Well, well, we won't go all the way down to their fur because I'll fix up that part where the leash touches the fur a little bit um, later. I'm just going to get the big part of that leash out first. So we selected it with the patch tool. And then all we do is we just grab it, pull down a little bit, and let go. And voila. Command D to deselect. That looks pretty good. You really can't tell where it is. So right down here we have this little bit of the leash still we have to remove. Um, so for that I think the clone stamp might actually be the easiest. So we're going to go clone stamp, which is right here. We're going to have mode on normal. Opacity, I'm going to keep it 100 and flow, I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller because that's a little big. I'm also going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Hello, Elliot. He's a very cute pup, don't you think? All right, so for the clone tool, all we have to do really is I'm going to grab a little bit of the edge of the fur, make it a little bit smaller. I just want my brush to be just the right size. I don't want it too big. I don't want it too small. I want it just right. So I'm going to hit Option, Select, kind of move right up here, release, and that's going to get rid of this one little section right there. So I'm going to go smaller with my brush. And select a sample and then just paint it on. Um, and that's it. I think we're all set here. So voila, there we go. There's Elliot, leash free. It's ready to go. Um, we are going to do some more video tutorials here on Hair of the Dog with some other tools that we can use for leash removal. This was a pretty easy one since it's a pretty solid background. Um, so we'll we'll do some more difficult ones where you have some fences or some um, some other objects in the background that make it a little bit more challenging. But this was a good basic one to start with. I uh, hope you join us for more Hair of the Dog tutorials soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.